The profit stories, profit stories are amazing, are amazing. We like to hear the profit stories, profit stories. We like to hear the profit stories, profit stories. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. How are you, children? Alhamdulillah. We are fine. We like to hear profit stories from you. Okay, mashallah. That's very good. The stories of the prophet are important for all Muslims. Inshallah, today we will learn about the prophet. Could peace be upon him? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's start. Bismillah. The people of Ad lived in the hills between Yemen and Oman. They were physically well built and well known for their tall building construction with big towers. Among all the nation, they were very powerful and wealthy, which unfortunately made them arrogant. <laughs> They had a dictator who was an unjust ruler, and no one raised a voice against him. The people of Ad believed in Allah and worshipped him, but they also worshipped other gods and idols. This was one sin Allah does not forgive. To guide those people, Allah sent Prophet Hud peace be upon him. He was very strong and tolerant. He was the third or fourth generation after Noah, peace be upon him. Prophet Hud was telling his people not to worship their stone idols, which they made with their own hand. He requested his people to worship only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They refused his message and told him, Do you want to be our master with your call? What payment do you want? Prophet Hud, peace be upon him, said that he doesn't want anything from them except for them to follow the truth. Hud tried to speak to them and to explain about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessing and how Allah had given them their strength and power. Hud's people looked around them and found that they were the strongest on the earth, so they became more prouder. Oh Hud, did you say that later who will die and turn into dust? And then who will be resurrected? Prophet Hud, peace be upon him, said, Yes, on the day of judgment, they will be asked about what they did. <laughs> How strange his claims are! So they were arrogant because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them rich and strong? But they should be more grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings. That's why generally poor people are more religious than rich people. Yes, the people were very ungrateful. They did not believe him about the day of judgment. They listened to him but did not believe him. The chiefs of Hood's people asked, Is it not strange that Allah chose one of us to reveal his message to? Prophet Hood, peace be upon him, replied, why was it strange? Why is it strange? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent me to warn you. The history of Prophet Noah's Ark and the flood happened not too long ago. Did you forget what happened? All of the disbelievers were destroyed, no matter how strong they were. Who will going to destroy us, Hud? Prophet peace be upon him said, if they don't follow him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will destroy them all. We will be saved by our God. Hud clarified to them that the gods that they worship would be the reason for their destruction. The conflict between Hud and his people continued. The years passed and they became more prouder and more arrogant and more aggressive with their prophet Hud peace be upon him. They started to accuse Hud peace be upon him of being crazy. One day they told him, We now understand the secret of your madness. 
you insult our gods because they harm you. That's why you have become insane. Prophet Hood, peace be upon him, warned them about Allah's punishment. It is one of the laws of life. Allah punishes the disbelievers no matter how rich or strong they are. As a punishment, a drought spread throughout the land. There was no rain for the land. The heat of the sun increased, and it felt like the people's heads were on fire. Hood's people asked him, What is the drought, Hood? Hood answered, Allah is angry with you. If you believe in him, he will accept you and the rain will fall. And you will become more stronger than you are. Wow, the drought must have been really bad. How come they still didn't say sorry to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Did they know the punishment was coming? Yes, they knew the punishment was coming, but still they did not accept Prophet Hood peace be upon him. They laughed at him. The drought increased, the trees turned yellow, and the plants died. A day came when they found the sky full of clouds. Hood's people were glad to see the cloud. This cloud will give us rain! The weather changed suddenly from burning dry and hot to wind that shook everything. Trees, plants, tents, men and women. The wind increased day after day and night after night. Hood's people started to flee. The disbelievers ran to their tents to hide, but the wind became stronger, ripping their tents. They hid under the covers, but the wind became stronger and tore away the covers. It cut the cloth and the skin. The strong wind cracked the human body and destroyed it. All the disbelievers were killed, and their body was torn away by the strong wind. The storm lasted for eight days and seven nights. So, it was just a storm? No, it was a very heavy sandstorm. That violent storm did not stop until the entire region was turned into ruins and its wicked people were destroyed, swallowed by the sands of the desert. Prophet Hood, peace be upon him, and his people remained unharmed. They migrated to Yemen and lived there in peace, worshipping their true Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the end of our story for today. Inshallah, next time, we will enjoy another beautiful story of the Prophets. The Prophet's Story